Hey kids, today we will practice multiplication facts for 0 and 1. For example, 0 times 7 would equal 0. Or 1 times 3 would just equal 3. For this lesson, we're going to practice some vocabulary, we're going to talk about some tricks for 0 and 1, and then just practice our 0 and 1 facts. The numbers that you multiply, for example, 0 times 4, are called factors. The answer in this case of 0 is called the product. You can switch the factors around and you will still get the same product. You can also multiply going up and down. For example, 0 times 4 equals 0. You can change the order and you're still going to get the same answer of 0. So, 0 times 3, that would be the 0 rule, which is any number times 0 will always equal 0. So, 0 times 3 has a 0, so that just equals 0. So, that's easy. That's also called the multiplication property of 0, but I just like to call it the 0 rule. So, 0 times 9 would be the 0 rule, right? Any number, right? So, 0 times 9 equals 0. The 0 rule will be true if the 0 is on the left side, if it's on the right side, doesn't matter. If the 0 is on the top, or if it's on the bottom, it's going to equal 0. It doesn't matter if it's a really large number like 927, right? Or a small number like 1, it's still going to equal 0. So that's a pretty neat rule. Now, understanding multiplying zeros are sometimes a little bit tricky, so let's look at an example. So, for example, let's just say if you wanted to buy some donuts, and you go out and you buy four uh, boxes of donuts. So you've got four boxes. Now, how many donuts in this example are in each box? I'm counting six, right, for each box. So we would say that's four boxes of donuts times six what? Six donuts that would equal 24 donuts. Remember, it's not 24 boxes, it's 24 donuts. Now, how does that talk about zeros? Well, let's take it a step further. Imagine this time that you have four boxes, but if it's like my house, <laughs> there's probably not going to be any donuts, right? It's going to be zero donuts. So we've, we do have four boxes, though, but we've got zero donuts in each box. So this would be four boxes, right? times zero what? Zero donuts. Well, that's equal to zero what? Donuts. Now, do we have four boxes? Yes, but when we're talking about the donuts, we have zero donuts. So that's kind of a way that we could make sense of why uh, you can multiply by zeros. Now, our strategies for one is just the one rule. Any number times one is just the other number. So for example, one times five, the other number is five. So that's your answer. That's also called the identity property of multiplication, but I just like to call it the one rule. Keep it simple. So 1 times 9, right? Just the one rule or the identity property, meaning that any number times 1, it's just going to be the other number. So in this case, it's 9. So 1 times 9 is 9. Ready to practice? I'm going to mix them up a bit. Okay. 0 times 4, right? Any number times 0 will equal 0, and there's our 0, so 0 times 4 is 0. 1 times 3 is just the 1 rule. Any no number times 1, it's just the other number. So 1 times 3 is 3. 0 times 7, right? Seeing that 0. 1 times 7 is going to be our 1 rule, so it's going to be 1 times 7 is 7. 5 times 0, right, it's going to equal 0 because of the 0 rule. 11 times 1 is the 1 rule, so that equals 11. 4 times 0 is, right, 0, great. 8 times 1 is the 1 rule, so that would be uh, 8. 0 times 
10 would be our uh, zero rule. So zero times 10 is zero. One times 10 would be our one rule. And so the other number in this case is 10. Zero times nine is the zero rule. So zero times nine is zero. You're doing okay. Four times one, right? Nice and easy. Just gonna be the other number, which is four. 12 times zero, easy. You guys are doing great. One times six is just gonna be six. One times zero. Interesting because we have one and zero, right? So which one wins? You can use either. So for example, if it's a zero rule, you just say, well, I've got a zero, so it equals zero. If you said, no, I really want the one rule. Well, the one rule just says that the other uh, number, right? Well, the other number is zero. So either way, you're gonna get a 12 times one is just the one rule. So we just take the 12, easy, easy, easy. I uh, times zero, right? It's gonna be zero. One times two, got the one rule, so that's two. Zero times 11, right, is just gonna be our zero rule. Good work, everybody. Just keep practicing and you're gonna get it. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you on the next one.